79% of Lucid shares are held by institutions. But how did I know that 79% of the shares were held by institutions? Where do I find that stuff? Okay, I'm going to tell you, but it's just between us, so shut up. Let's say you have an account with TD Ameritrade, as I do, right here on the summary page, held by institutions, 79%, it's right there. But what if you don't have Ameritrade? Then how can you find this information? Then you would want to go here to Yahoo, and where you're going to go is you're going to go over to this category right here that says holders. They will give you the same information right here, and they'll actually give you a little bit more information. Now, keep in mind, this one, it says 77%. It might be a little outdated because of when uh, Yahoo gets their information versus someone like Ameritrade. All right, so what? 79% of the shares are held by institutions. Why does this matter? It's important to realize, especially as a new investor, that institutions hold the majority of the shares out there. Take Chipotle, for example. 93% of Chipotle's shares are owned by institutions. For a new investor, this kind of information can be really beneficial. It tells us that, hey, a lot of these big money hedge funds see great value or potential or promise in this company, or they, they see that it's a very safe company if they pay a dividend, for example. And on the flip side, if you find a company that isn't held largely by institutions, maybe you found a hidden gem. And on the other other side, if a company's shares are held almost exclusively by institutions and then that company has bad news or a lawsuit or some sort of catastrophic event, they dump their shares, they can wipe out that stock's value pretty quickly. If you've ever seen any of my TikToks where I do these fundamental analysis videos, and you're wondering, where does he find all of this information? Well, I'm gonna show you. This is the definitive guide. I cannot tell you how happy a comment like this makes me. The whole reason I joined TikTok was to teach people how to become self-sufficient traders and investors. But usually the comments I get are, do this stock, talk about this one, what are your opinions on that stock? I rarely get comments like, I wanna learn how to do this, show me where to go to learn. So let's go. First place I go is TD Ameritrade, that's my brokerage. When you search for a stock, it's gonna take you here to the summary page. This will show you stuff like market cap, price to earnings ratio, dividend, held by institutions, and short interest. But in my videos, you'll often see where I have the price to earnings ratio and then the industry average. Where do I find that? This is also on TD Ameritrade. Under the valuation tab, it'll show you all of the price to earnings ratios and the industry averages along with all of these other metrics. And anytime I do a video on the company's reporting earnings, it's from this Instagram account. You can see it right there. And when I say that a stock is up 60% in the last 10 years, I'm getting that right here from Seeking Alpha. And you can just click on any one of these and it'll show you the 10 year, the five year. And if I'm telling you that a company has increased their dividend over a five year period, I'm getting it here. This is also on Seeking Alpha. You click on dividends and it'll all be right here. This information is invaluable as an investor. They also have dividend safety grades, which I feature in some of my videos. And when I go over a company's revenues, like you can see over here, I personally like MarketWatch's website, the way they break it down, but you can go on any website. TD Ameritrade has it, Yahoo Finance has it. This is MarketWatch and you literally just click on financials and you'll find everything you want under these tabs. And if you've ever seen my U.S. economic news, like here's what to expect this week from Jerome Powell or whatever, where do I find that? It's also on MarketWatch. You just click on this little blue tab up here. You just scroll down to economy and politics, click on U.S. economic calendar. Here's all the major economic news for the week. Yahoo Finance actually breaks down the one-year target estimate right here on their homepage. And also on Yahoo Finance, if you click on holders, it'll show you all this information on the top holders and the breakdowns. The last thing I like to do, this is also on TD Ameritrade's website, is they have this great little category here on reports and ratings. You can see these analysts say they would reduce their position, but these guys would say they would buy it. I like to read all of the analyst reports, the good ones and the bad ones, so I become a more well-rounded investor, and I know and I can learn from these experts what they look for, what they like, and what they don't like. By the way, if you're ever wondering what these terms mean, on TD Ameritrade, you can click and it'll give you a little description. One more thing I like, the Smart Asset Investment Return and Growth Calculator. It gives you all this stuff. Lots of info.